Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to determine the capital adequacy. This is problem 1 of the worksheet, chapter 12. Given the following information for Q Bank, calculate tier 1, tier 2, and total capital. We know that tier 1 is equal to the summation of common stocks, perpetual preferred stocks, surplus, and the undivided profits. As a result, tier 1 capital will be equal to $137,000. Regarding tier 2, capital reserves is considered as tier 2. So this is two and reserves for loan losses also and subordinated notes and debentures. As a result, tier two will be the summation of these three accounts. Tier two will be equal to $8,000. The total capital, as you know, it is the summation of tier one plus tier two. So 137,000 plus the 8,000 is equal to 145 thousand dollars now let's move to question b if the bank has total assets of two million eight hundred forty thousand dollars does it have an adequate capital under regulatory standards so regulatory standards are those those of basel one so based on basel one requirements and when the total capital or the the denominator is total assets tier one over total assets must be higher than 3%. However, there is no requirement for total capital. As a result, tier 1 divided by total assets, so $137,000 divided by the total assets, it would be equal to 0.048 or 4.8%, which is higher than the 3% which is required. As a result, the capital in this case, tier 1 capital, is adequate. Question C. If risk-adjusted assets are equal to $2 million, is capital adequate? We are also talking about the Basel I requirements. However, in this time, the denominator is the risk-adjusted assets. So, the requirements are tier 1 over the risk-adjusted assets must be higher than 4%. However, the ratio of total capital divided by the risk adjusted assets must be higher than or equal to 8%. So, tier 1 over risk adjusted assets, so this is the $137,000 divided by the 2 million, it is equal to 0.068 or 6.8%, which is higher than 4%, which is the required ratio. In this case, tier 1 capital is adequate. However, for the ratio of the total capital over the risk adjusted assets so it is the 145000 divided by the 2 million it is equal to 7.2% 7.2 is less than the required 8% in this case we say that the total capital is not adequate so tier 1 capital is adequate however the total capital is not finally question d if an analysis of market risk revealed that the bank's value at risk VAR equals $200,000 and its adjusted value of a credit risk weighted assets equal to $1.5 million, is capital still adequate? When we are talking about the market risk, the VAR, and the adjusted value of credit risk, we are moving to the Basel II requirements. So, according to Basel II, Tier 1 over the total risk ratio must be higher than 4%. However, the total capital divided by the total risk, which is credit, market, and operational, but in this case, we don't have the operational risk in, in this exercise. So the ratio must be higher than 8%. The first step to determine whether the capital is adequate or not in this case is to determine and to calculate the market risk which is also called the market risk equivalent asset. The market risk or the market risk equivalent assets are equal to VAR times the 3 plus the specific risk times 4. The VAR is $100,000. So it must be multiplied by 3. 
However, the specific risk is zero because we don't have any information about the specific risk. So we suppose that it's equal to zero. As a result, the market risk is equal to $300,000. The second step is to determine the total risk since the credit risk is already given. So credit risk plus market risk plus, plus operational risk equals to the total risk. So the $1.5 million plus the $300,000 that have been already calculated, which is the market risk, plus zero because we have we do not have any information about the operational risk. It will be equal to $1.8 million. So this is the total risk. And finally, after calculating and determining the total risk, we can now see whether the tier one capital and total capital are adequate or not. So tier one over the total risk, it is equal to 7.6%. It is higher than the 4% that is required. So tier one is adequate. Also, total capital over the total risk it is equal to 8.1%, higher than the required 8%. So also the total capital is adequate.